Antonio Pierce making his case to be the coach of the Raiders. I think it's a no-brainer. Now, look, I don't know what Mark Davis is going to do. Two years ago, I thought, and I don't know whether you agreed with me. I think you agreed with me. They yeah. should have given Rich Passaccia and Mike 100. Mayock a chance to go forward. Definitely. They blew that. How could Davis? I mean, he's right back at the same freaking well. Two years later, an interim coach who's getting it done. And if he learned nothing from the last experience, it's that maybe the interim coach has done enough that he gets a clean slate, a full season, where he gets to do it his way. If he's 4-3 and three when he's taking the reins from – you know, a, a, a horse that's crashing into the ravine, let him run the horse from the start. That's a horrible metaphor. But regardless, give him a chance from the get-go to be the coach and see what he can do. Yeah. You don't have to make a 10-year commitment. Right. Give him a year or two and see what he can do. Yeah, no, I mean, let, let him have an offseason to where he could frame the team the way he wants to. Right? Then add a little two cents to the type of players he wants on the football team and free agency in the draft. Uh, I, I certainly can, will get behind Antonio Pierce being brought back as the, the Raiders coach. I mean, one, yeah, he seems to embody the Raiders attitude. It does seem like the fan base is behind him. The players have certainly been behind him. The play on the field is certainly justified. I mean, forget the four wins. You know, I, I don't know. The, you know, and in some ways I look at the three losses and go, they're kind of impressive too. I mean, they were down in Miami, and what, what was the game? 14-13 in the third quarter, early fourth? I mean, it wasn't easy in Miami. You know, their other loss against the Chiefs, 31-17, you know, it, it was respectable. And the fact that they, you know, hung in there in that ugly Minnesota game. So there's a lot of good they things there. They held the three points. I know. There's a lot. And we were just they talking the about points. to start yeah, the show. They scored zero. Well, but Kevin O'Connell, we've talked about, has moved the ball and get people open everywhere. And it's still they played and fought in the football game. So, yeah, well, uh, I, I could totally get behind that. I can't get behind what the hell you just said about a horse running into a ravine. and get, I don't even know yeah, what the hell you were I talking about there. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I know. I don't know. I don't know either. All I know is this. Give the guy a chance from the start of the offseason to shape the team, build his staff, put his culture in place, and not have to do it on the fly. And he did it on the fly, and he's won more games than he's lost, and he still might win the division. Yeah. Surely if they, if they steal the division from the Chiefs, he gets the job. They went into Arrowhead Stadium on Christmas Day and beat the Chiefs. That should be enough for him to have the job. Hopefully Mark Davis does the smart thing here. We shall see. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.